So do you have any? Uh, so how can I uh, page down, page up? Use use like my laptop. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, hello everyone. Good morning, and thank you for coming my session. Uh, so I'm going to uh, present uh, the real test on the undergraduate students for the innovation contest. So you can see uh, how the students will deploy and use OpenStack to build their cloud application. So then my name is Shen Wang. So I'm the individual board of OpenStack Foundation. I also uh, work in Shanghai. I work for Intel as an engineer manager. There's uh, two uh, speakers. Uh, one is Dr. Du, it's from our engineer, and the other one is uh, Zhen Zhan Zhou. Uh, he used to be a senior engineer at Intel, but now he's uh, in MC. So both of them helped me to set up the environment for the uh, undergraduate students. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the objective of the innovation contest, and also the, give you all some background, and show some highlights and lowlights. And, uh, I'm going to tell the operation, OpenStack operation and the deployments uh, during the contest. And we made a survey uh, among the students. And you can see um, uh, what's, the, what's the difference, what's the survey result. And we get some of the key learnings and make some suggestions for the community to improve the, uh, improve the OpenStack, uh, especially for the uh, universities. And also, I can introduce some of the cloud application they made. Yeah. First is a contest objective. I think uh, we have a lot of objective, but two of them are very important. One is uh, accelerate the uh, adoption open, of OpenStack in academia. And the other one is to uh, provide the OpenStack environment to the students so they can build new usage models, new usage, uh, usage scenario. Uh, based on the cloud service. Here's the schedule. The innovation concept lasts uh, so almost a half a year. And uh, at the beginning, we kick off and uh, determine the theme uh, to be cloud service, cloud application. Uh, so from this, I, uh, I'm, I think you must know the uh, application Hackathon at Taiwan. So it's similar, but we also emphasize the OpenStack usage, especially OpenStack deployment. So we determine the theme and also uh, define the rule for the contest. And uh, on the first uh, stage, uh, we opened that registration and we got uh, almost uh, 100 team to join the contest. And uh, at the beginning, we also uh, promote OpenStack by deliver the trainings like uh, we set up the website to the, uh, for the onla on online training and also deliver the on-site training uh, at uh, different universities. We also distributed the OpenStack book. And uh, unfortunately, uh, the book is in Mandarin, so it's, uh, it's in China. And the second stage, uh, so we make uh, some judgment uh, to the, uh, at the first stage, the students will submit uh, the proposal just ideas of uh, uh, different cloud applications. So there's no implementation. But at the second stage, we make some judgment on the cloud application uh, uh, based on the uh, innovation and the cre creative ideas, how, how creative the idea is. And then we uh, request the students to implement the idea and uh, at the final round. So at the second round, uh, we cut half of the team. And then at the final round, we invited the uh, uh, 20 teams to uh, come to the university, Tianjin University, and uh, show the, and the, uh, deploy OpenStack based on the hardware uh, we offered and uh, uh, deploy their cloud application on the OpenStack cloud and show the live demo, live demonstration to the judges. The highlights is uh, we know this, uh, uh, this, act, this event um, this event attract the uh, attention of the uh, university and also the government. So uh, the government also uh, recognized the event because uh, this, uh, this event uh, promotes the cloud technologies. And we got a uh, lot of uh, the university, uh, especially software 
uh, college to involve the event. And we, uh, we have uh, some more than 2,000 students to join the event. And they, they, they form the almost 100 teams. Yeah. And the other thing is, I said, I said, as I said, I, we set up the uh, infrastructure for the online training and uh, for the online forum for them to uh, ask questions and get answers. So those, uh, those kind of uh, infrastructure achieved uh, a lot of web, um, web views. And uh, we also, at the final round, we also invite the uh, uh, local media to promote the event and also promote OpenStack uh, in the local community. So we talk a lot, a lot about the highlights. So let's look at the, uh, uh, something bad. Sorry, so one more. So this is a kind of the snapshot of the, the, the um, media magazine or newspaper the, on the internet. So for the, for the bad things, so we know at the, at the final round that uh, there are uh, 20 teams join the final round, but only one team success, successfully deployed OpenStack uh, within uh, 36 hours without any help. So because of, at the final round, we just uh, give them uh, the limited time for them to, it's, uh, because the, and also I also want to say that uh, the cloud is not complex, it's just uh, several nodes, uh, so, but only one team successfully deployed that. So for the, uh, for the innovation contest, this is how hardware settings. Uh, we uh, donate a rack, that rack contains several servers, and also we made a, uh, connect each other uh, by a switcher, and uh, the one of the things that uh, it's different is uh, uh, we didn't uh, we didn't provide the hardware, the physical hardware to the students. We provide the virtual machines to them, and uh, this is re uh, used the nested virtualization. That is to say, the students have to uh, deploy OpenStack on top of OpenStack. This is different, yeah. So. So for one team, for each team, uh, the team will get uh, at most uh, four, uh, four virtual machines, two, two large virtual machines and two small virtual machines, and deploy the nodes, different nodes, onto those four uh, virtual machines. I think the idea, this is to show the steps for the students to deploy and do the operation on OpenStack. So the idea is the step is uh, the students will uh, get the virtual machine and create tenant network to make the, all the virtual machines connect to each other. And uh, also create the, the virtual NIC and attach to the virtual machines. And sometimes they will use their own image because we also offer the image to the students, but they, they have their own image uh, built at the, the school. And they will use that, they, they use that and uh, they upload the image to the ground service. So, all, after all the operation is done, uh, the students will deploy OpenStack uh, based on the tenant, the tenant network. Okay, this is, uh, uh, we, we, we made a survey for the 20 teams. Uh, the, 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 di uh, the diagram shows uh, um, on the tools they, they will choose. We, we don't have any recommendation to the students which tool is, bad, uh, is the best, which tool is the hard to use. But they choose the, I think you can see from the picture that uh, the, the popular tool is DevStack. I think uh, maybe the DevStack is a part of the OpenStack projects. And also um, DevStack, DevStack is uh, easy to use, just run some of the scripts. Run and, uh, but the second, uh, the second most popular tool is uh, Ubuntu and uh, uh, the installation manual guide. Installation, installation guide. So the students you, um, will look at uh, the web, web link and uh, install the OpenStack uh, step by step manually. So there are also another tools like uh, RDO, like a uh, Fio, like a uh, Puppet. But uh, uh, because it's, uh, it's I, I don't know the reason, but I just uh, take a guess it's uh, because they are uh, complex enough it's for enterprise. The students doesn't need that. That's kind of uh, thing, yeah. 
So, or, or maybe it's not a popular uh, in the community, it's uh, popular in the, in the enterprise, in the commercial products. So what, uh, what are successful, uh, this slide shows what a successful deployment should be. So ideally, uh, we have four virtual machines, so the students can deploy uh, one machine, one virtual machine as a controller, and two as uh, the compute nodes, and the other one is a network node. And uh, uh, this is uh, uh, the basic uh, infrastructure for their cloud application. So based on that, they can deploy the uh, different application on top of the compute nodes. So this is the ideal picture, ideal the architect for the students uh, to follow. I think it's a very easy. Okay, so, so next page show the uh, survey results uh, we made among the students. What's the top issue they met? So the top issue is the connectivity. Uh, so uh, the connectivity is means that they, it's very hard for them to uh, make the virtual machines connect to each other, or also make the virtual machine can access the public uh, internet. And second thing, uh, it's uh, a network uh, configuration. Uh, I will show you some of the details in the next slide. And, uh, and then we can get some of the uh, issues from the package. Uh, the package is not uh, students' fault. It's not uh, uh, OpenStack fault. It's our uh, environment because the environment is very, uh, it's a little bit bad. It's a, a little bit slow. So they are not able to uh, uh, upload the image or get the ser image service. So apart, of, apart from that allows, uh, like uh, we also get some image related, uh, image and glance related issues, and uh, the others, the other is very, it's not, uh, uh, the other issue is not so many. Okay, top issue, connectivity. So the students submit, uh, a lot of students submit the same problem. Uh, they are not able to, uh, we, give, we give them, we give them the four virtual machines but they are not able to uh, build a network among those, four uh, among those four virtual machines. They cannot make them connect to each other. Also, they cannot to, to, uh, make uh, any of the virtual machines to access the, the internet. Uh, the second issue is, uh, as I said, is network configuration. It's, uh, some, the, this, uh, this survey is from students. It's not what I said, it's they, they said. It's not familiar with the multi winic uh, to our virtual to our virtual machine. If they want to set up the network controller, the the virtual machine have to attach uh, multiple uh, virtual NIC. So they don't know. They have no idea how to do that. How to achieve that? And second, it's, uh, they are not familiar with the configuration files. You know, there's a lot of configuration files in the uh, OpenStack, but uh, it's so complex. A lot of sections. They don't know how uh, well they should modify to make the network work. And fraud IT, uh, we, they also made some fraud IP problems. And for the image, uh, I do think uh, uh, some of the problem is also related to network because they also said that the glance service is not available. Sometimes it's not reachable and the image cannot upload to the glance. And uh, I, I do believe it's a kind of network issue. So we also did uh, another survey for the top issue, uh, top blocking issue. So you know the, uh, they meet a lot of problems, uh, but uh, they, they can spend enough time to solve the problem. And uh, you know the only one team, uh, only one team succeed, but for the others, they met the blocking issue. Uh, they, they have no time to solve the issues. So similar as the, the last, uh, uh, picture. The blocking issue, there's a nine team meet the blocking issue of the connectivity. So that is to say in the end, they fail to solve the issue. And the other thing is uh, like a pa package error. Uh, and uh, the third thing is a network configuration. So this picture show the, uh, some of the, <laughs> the bad of OpenStack. So Look at the, look at the um, what we can learn from the lesson is because that is a real test. 
the students, you the uni uh, undergraduate students, you can uh, treat them as a uh, freshman uh, in the OpenStack world. You can treat them, them as a newcomer. So uh, at the beginning, they, they know nothing about the OpenStack. They know nothing about the cloud. So they spend half a year to study and uh, give a final examination uh, within 36 hours. So uh, the key learning, the first one is uh, it's very hard to master oper OpenStack operations. Uh, uh, we know there's our operation uh, manuals. Uh, I think it's uh, very easy for op operator to deal with different, different kind of situations, but for the undergraduate students, especially those students are computer science and the software college, uh, college. So I do think they are familiar with the computer operation, right? The second is uh, the, uh, for the newcomer, the learning curve is pretty long. The, the learning curve for OpenStack deployment and the operation is pretty, pretty long. And uh, the third thing is, uh, you, as you see, uh, most of the issue existing in network, especially in neutral. So uh, you, you, I think you can, as a user, you can think a neutral is not easy to, neutral is very easy to um, make uh, issues and it's not e easy for them to solve the issues in network. And uh, for the open set deployment, the process, so for the simple case, I think the, the case is simple enough. But for this case, for this uh, scenario, this, uh, for the, uh, the students also always spend a long time uh, uh, solving the issue to deploy OpenStack. So you can see the uh, OpenStack deployment process, uh, it's a little bit complex. So next is about suggestion. So we got some learning, and uh, we want to make some suggestion for the community. One is to improve documents. We know the documents is uh, it's not uh, uh, the documents are not uh, well organized in the community. Unlike the code, the document um, some of sometimes document is out of date, and no one to maintain to keep them updated. And also the documents are, most of the documents are in English. So uh, we, we hope the community can put some efforts to translate to multi-languages. And second is uh, we know OpenStack Foundation initiated a, a program, it's OpenStack Professional Certification. But uh, there's a lot of uh, examination there. Uh, but those are for operators, right? But for students, like uh, the un students in the university, uh, they don't have any chance to study OpenStack and pass the certification. But I do think uh, we can emphasize that in the community to uh, promote OpenStack at the beginning, at uh, the uh, students, from students. Yeah. And, so, and certain is very interesting because uh, we know the students can DIY uh, bare metal machines. So they are familiar with the physical hardware. Like uh, they can buy the bare metal machine from the IT market. They also have the access to the uh, school, uh, at the lab in the school. So they can DIY. They can, if they want to make the network work, so they can open the desktop. They can plug in the NIC. They can uh, plug in the cable uh, anyway. But for the virtual machines, it's virtual. So it's, it's in the software. They know how to deal with that. They cannot crash the software, right? They cannot crash the virtual machine. So we need. A, we think uh, for the students, uh, the community need a, and the community needs to offer more chance for the students, especially the teachers, students in the university, to use the cloud environment, use the virtual machines. Like uh, we know, uh, we have the public cloud in the AWS and the other. The other big companies offer the public cloud, but for students, they they uh, have a fair chance to use the cloud. Yeah. But public cloud, I don't think uh, uh, because public cloud is not uh, it's not uh, similar as the private cloud. But uh, yeah. So I I hope the community can offer more chance for students to uh, facing uh, to face the uh, uh, private cloud the problems. And last one is uh, uh, we did a lot of efforts for the industry. Uh, just like a summit, uh, we have a lot of uh, operators, developers from different uh, companies, la large company or small company. 
However, did you see any researchers? Did you see any students? No. The, uh, I, I cannot say no, but there's a few, right? So we involve a lot uh, in the industry, but I also hope we can uh, involve the academia area because there are such special persona in the, in the OpenStack world. Yeah. So I, I hope uh, we can help them to do some research and uh, to educate from the, from the university course. Yeah. OK, the last page is about uh, the, the, I can introduce some of the application they created. And the uh, first prize is a winner. Uh, the first prize uh, 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 application is about a real, sense, uh, real detector. They use the cloud uh, to, they use the cloud to collect the data for, from the, behavi uh, from the be behavior of the user in front of the desktop and uh, use that data, analyze the uh, agnostic, uh, agnostic data uh, to uh, send uh, some warnings or uh, provide suggestions to the uh, desktop users. You, you have to correct your behavior, so otherwise you will, get, you, you will be get hurt, hurt it, yeah. So this is uh, the first uh, prize. They, they take uh, they leverage the cloud to do the analysis and do the data collection. And the second prize, we also have uh, several, uh, we have three winners. The first one is a, a called e-wallet. The e-wallet e is uh, that you treat the smartphone as the credit card. You can pay something uh, and uh, make the transaction uh, based on the, the like uh, you, uh, the, uh, uh, with the smartphone. So the smartphone has uh, the camera, so they use the fa uh, face recognition to add a password. And uh, ba back when uh, they use the cloud to connect the bank and the retail. So they, if you want to pay something for the retail, you just uh, use the smartphone if you take any money. Yeah, it's uh, Solana, uh, I think it's a very creative idea. The second, uh, Second application in you know, the second prize is uh, first aid outdoors. <laughs> it's uh, interesting, and uh, you know they also use the smartphone. And so, like uh, outdoor, you you uh, see some um, patients. They have uh, something uh, very emergent. You see some emergency, so they use the smartphone to take a picture and send out uh, send out the picture to and the location. The all of this is uh, is. Uh, uh, it's done by uh, automatically. So send the picture to the the cloud, uh, to the backend uh, call center and the hospital, and then call center and hospital will send the, the amb ambulance to the patient. They know the location of the patient, patients. Yeah. And the last one is uh, about security. Uh, so so far we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of uh, the password to remember. Uh, if you make a uh, one password for all the accounts, it's uh, it's not safe. So the students um, made the application on a smartphone. So the, the 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 application divided the password in two parts. One part is on the smartphone. It's like a hint. The other part is uh, the rest of the part is uh, uh, saved on the cloud. So if you want to, uh, oh, if you open the application and uh, want to input any password. They will achieve the uh, they will achieve the password from the cloud and achieve the uh, and you get some uh, input. Uh, you you input uh, the other part and uh, make a combination and send the password to the application server. So make your login. Uh, this is uh, another uh, user scenario for the cloud. Uh, they use the cloud to save the password and uh, to make the password more secure. Uh, this I showed a photo. Yes, uh, I I do think uh, it's very good chance to uh, I do think it's a very good chance to uh, do some real test on the OpenStack. So uh, it's a uh, it's a good um, it's uh, also a good opportunity to promote OpenStack, and also we can know some weakness of the community. So we we hope we can leverage the chance to uh, improve OpenStack and improve the community and to involve more people. Uh, into the community. This is a photo uh, at the final round. Yeah. 
Okay, thank you. As, uh, I think that's pretty much of it. Uh, yeah, do we have any questions? No, okay. Thank you. Thank you for coming. <laughs>